Swab counting is an important part of surgery. We must count all the swabs at each closure and before and at the end of a case so we know what goes in must come out. There are many things to factor in, what size of swab, how they'll be marked, how you'll be documenting them and when they are used. If they go into a patient or they staying in for a short time, they must be documented on some kind of swab board or paperwork. Now there are lots of things we're looking for in these I'm going to try and explain a little bit. For this example I'll be using 10 by 10 swabs, 30 by 30 tape swabs and 45 by 45 muslin packs or mobs. They're called many different things in many different areas. Swabs come in many guises but they pretty much all have the same qualities. So these are Ratex swabs. They have an x-ray detectable strip, this black strip. They have a red tag which binds them, usually has a knot in it somewhere. And some have a tape which is sewn into the swab. They can be used for lots of different things and it's usually task specific. So when we're counting the swab, what are we wanting to know? We want to know that we have the correct amount of swabs, that they are the right size, that they're all the same size, that they're intact, they have a Ratex strip and that you've accounted for your red tag because it is not x-ray detectable and must be accounted for and checked off in line with local policy. So let's start with the small swabs. These are 10 by 10 Ratex swabs. I'll move these ones out of the way just so you can see a little bit better. So you need to make sure you've got hold of your floor person to correlate your swab count. So you have eye contact, they're looking at your swabs, you're looking at your swabs and everybody's on the same page. Ideally, you shouldn't start counting swabs unless you can finish that count. Obviously, emergency situations arise, then you'll have to use your professional judgment. But your gold standard is that you have two people counting the swabs and you're both correlating visually. So I have my floor person, I say check five, red tag. Now, when I go to count these swabs, they have a closed side and they have an open side, just from the way they're folded. So I find it easier to hold them in one hand and pinch closer to the closed side than the open side so they don't open up and separate. So we're checking that it is one swab and it has a Ratex strip and that it's intact. So we go check five, pinch one, two, three, four and five. And then your red tag would go away in line with your local policy and be documented accordingly. Now you can fan them out, doesn't matter, one, two, three, four, five, whichever you prefer. For space, it's quite often easier to have them into a little bundle, but you must never count a second bundle on top of the first bundle. They must be counted in separate fives. There you have your small swaps. Your taped swabs are a little bit different. So again, check five with your floor person and you're both seeing verbally and visually counting. So your red tag comes off, one red tag. Now, I do these ones a little bit different. I tend to hold them in my right hand just because of the way of these ones are folded. But they come in many guises, so you just have to find the best way that works for you. I'm going to pull the tape to check that it's attached, it's sewn in, but they can come off, so we're checking that it's there and then we're checking the swabs much like the small swabs. So. Check five. One, two, three, four, five. And the red tag then goes in line with your policy. Now, if at any point your floor nurse wasn't happy with the count or you felt as though you'd had a small stutter when you were counting them, you would start again and they'd be perfectly within the rights to ask you to do so. So you would just pick them up, you've pulled all your ties, everybody's happy with them. So one, two, three, four, five. And off they go into whatever you're going to store them. Muslin packs are a bit more unwieldy, they're awfully large. This makes it a bit more tricky. So red tag, off it comes. And as I say, I tend to swap about hands, whichever you prefer, it doesn't matter as long as you do it safely. So you're checking your tape is secure, that you have an x-ray strip and that it is only five. If you were to have a packet of four or six, they must be discarded, bagged and tagged and kept away from the operating field. You would start again. So here we go. Muslin packs. Much bigger, so a bit more tricky. One. 
two, three, four, five. Red tag goes away. If you were to count two packs of tape swabs, for example, you would do them in order. You would do your small swabs, two packs of tape swabs, and then your muslin packs. And that's just to make it easier to document. You would always keep them separate until they were counted. And once they were counted and accounted for, you could then, of course, pile them together at your leisure.